Hey guys, welcome to a uh, series that I've been wanting to do for a while and uh, a few requests on organic modeling. So I brought uh, this DVD series, the ultimate Clara Madkova. I'm guessing she's Russian. But I got it from here and ultimate series uh, you can get uh, number two or you can get the male version um, if this series is popular I shall uh, buy the uh, male version and uh, show you how to do a human male but I got this one uh, you can buy it uh, 75 US dollars and it's really good uh, royalty free uh, that means I can actually show these images on YouTube and uh, yeah so we're gonna go back and uh, so this is what we're doing if we go to the body area here um, you know with the T pose and we use this one here and this one here and we'll just use the back here just for uh, definition when we come to do the definition area and uh, during the low poly uh, we'll see the kind of what we're dealing with there and we're going to be using the three quarter views as well so I'm going to select this one this one and this one I'm going to save them to my desktop and I'm going to open up Photoshop and we'll scale these guys up and uh, save them and import them into Maya so I'll see you guys in Photoshop just a quick note you can actually use a uh, free a uh, free version called GIMP it's like Photoshop but, but free if you haven't got Adobe okay guys uh, imported them in and um, we'll start from the side view and I'll show you guys uh, there's not right or wrong way to do this but uh, if we select this view first uh, we'll go to the image canvas size and we want to go in this direction here and we'll go to percent and 200 So we'll take this, uh, what we'll do is we can duplicate a layer and our side view is actually Y05Z9607 uh, which is this one here and hit OK and there you go and we'll just move this to there and before I do anything I will put a middle line there uh, so I'm actually using a free uh, button mouse with a middle scroll here I'm holding down alt and I'm just scrolling in hold down control and I'm scrolling and uh, holding down shift and scroll is uh, to scroll the entire area there and without no uh, key presses I'm scrolling and it scrolls up and down so we're just going to put some reference images and we're going to try and match them up as best as we can uh, now bear in mind uh, as you can see already it is uh, off it's just the way the photos were photographed um, I'm sure if you ever do your own uh, you can actually stick some reference lines here so you can match them up while you're photographing but uh, we're just going to do the best we can I'm just going to stick one here uh, on the side of the eye and the side of the mouth here 
uh, we can get one in the center of the belly button around about here just above this uh, the underwear line and we'll get the bottom of the buttocks and the bottom of the knee and just above the ankle ignore uh, the foot at the back it's uh, irrelevant so as you can see the ankles pretty much line up as well as the the knee area there of course uh, this area here really needs uh, some work especially with this line here So what we can do is, uh, in free transform mode, in this layer here, this one, now free transform control and T, and hold it down shift, which keeps it in, uh, and we're just going to go there. Just to begin with, apply. Okay, so remember we we'll want to model this area first, so that's that looks good, and the corner of the mouth looks good, and the chin looks good. Now we'll come back down to here. Um, so much here. What we can do, we can actually drag the middle point here. And bring it up to the eye, to the corner of the eye. And come off the eye. We'll zoom out, and we've control, we've Alt and Shift select, and press down. We can try and get our dimensions back. Right about there. Okay, I think that is the best we're going to get from these images. We'll just do uh, some lineups here. Uh, that's looking good. And below the bra area. Of course, we're not going to get uh, per perfect, uh, perfect lines. In reality, you would do a body, model the body, then have separate. Uh, head images, but because these are such high res, uh, we can actually model from these. So I thought, why not? Um, I'm just scrolling down to here. I mean, as you can see in the side view, the corner of the eye uh, comes across on the tip of the ear, just below, uh, just above the the corner of the eye there. But in this in in this image here it's completely different see the top of the ear is in line with here and where the side view is just above uh, the corner of the eye okay so I think you've had me enough blabbering on What we're going to do, we're going to actually uh, set some lines. Let's get rid of that one. We're going to our uh, OK 
okay apply we'll apply those transformations we'll go back to our side view here and and we'll go back to our background copy and we'll bring one across here now they will be the same size so go to our background and we've mask uh, selected select the mask and I'm going to edit uh, copy file new and hit OK and edit paste and we'll do the same for this so we'll bring this across it's the same size we want to select th this top layer here edit copy new uh, ok and edit paste There we go. And we just want to double check. We'll go to Untitled 1, hit OK. And we just want to bring the opacity down and uh, so I'm pretty good. Okay. So I'm just going to get rid of this layer. Delete layer. Yes. So we go to file, and what we want to do now is save this as side and so it's a JPEG and we want to save this as front and so it's a JPEG I'll just pause that because I'm pretty sure you know uh, how you do that just want to show you guys uh, what I'm saving as uh, front and I'm saving it as a JPEG and uh, got the quality on 12 and OK so as it stands right now, uh, we are done lining up the images and uh, I'll see you in Maya.